I wanted to feature some keyboards from Akko on the channel because they have become a favorite for licensed collab tech with popular IPs like anime and video games. So today I am featuring the Akko Sailor Moon series, which is the 5108B+, the 3108V2, and the 5108S. Now we are diving into the specs, the design, and my personal thoughts on these, plus a comparison between the switches that Akko offers and the optional software for custom controls. Even if you aren't a fan of Sailor Moon, this video will give you a good idea of what Akko offers in terms of reliability, quality, and options. And if you are a fan, I am doing this video in collaboration with my hobby channel, which is called Sailor Snubs, where I talk about nothing but Sailor Moon in anime merch reviews and news. It's also where I post from events in Japan. So make sure to hit subscribe on my channel. It is completely free if you want to see more keyboards and other peripherals on the channel. I love doing reviews of keyboards boards and mice and monitors and microphones. So I'm always personally shopping around for the best ones for my own rig and check out Sailor Snubs for your weeb anime fix. That channel is a wee little one that I would love to hit 15,000 subscribers. So help me grow my anime page. So first up, we have the Akko Sailor Moon Crystal 5108B as in Bravo Plus. This keyboard has the white theme and it is priced between $109.99 and $119.99 USD depending on the switch that you choose. The design on this thing is just uh, chef's kiss. I love it so much. It features a new Sailor Moon design, which is absolutely gorgeous. And it also comes with an additional set of keys in case you wanna customize the aesthetics. Uh, I love the little Luna one and the little Sailor Moon one where Saturn, there's Saturn, she's one of my favorites. I love these Sailor Moon keycaps. They are so cute, they're great. So under the hood, it is packing the Beckon Plus Multimodes chip which supports Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 gigahertz wireless and USB type C connections. Plus it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So it will last through those long gaming sessions or late night typing sprees. The keyboard is five pin hot swappable, meaning that you can easily change out the switches if you ever feel like switching things up. But I do like the ones that are currently on here. Now, speaking of switches, this version comes with the Akko Crystal switches, which are linear and they have an operating force of 43 grams plus or minus five, that means it'll take about 43 grams of force to actuate the switch and register a keystroke, which is relatively light. They do have a total travel distance of 4.0 to 0.5 millimeters, which is pretty standard for mechanical keyboards and a pre-travel of 1.6 plus or minus 0.3 millimeters, which is the distance that the key actually has to travel before it registers a keystroke. The 5108B Plus also includes both plate foam and case foam, adding a nice touch of sound dampening. And let's not forget about that sweet RGB backlighting, which as you can see from my top down camera, it looks very pretty. It is programmable and it also comes with that die sub PBT JDA profile keycaps and the novelty keycaps too. And given that printing style, which you will see reoccurringly in this video, that shouldn't lessen their vibrancy over time and you shouldn't end up wearing and tearing these over time. They should keep that nice print quality for quite a while. I've actually been using this keyboard daily for I would say half a year or so and so far I have not lost any of that nice printing quality on any of the most popular keys that I tend to use so it looks really good. Now in terms of build and size the 5108B plus obviously this is a full-size keyboard this measures 440 by 132 by 41 millimeters and it weighs approximately 1.2 kilograms not that you're going to be taking this around with you a lot but maybe you will because it is Bluetooth. The keycaps again are very durable and very resistant to shininess over time and with the Akko Macro version 1.0, the N key rollover and a disable win lock feature as well, this keyboard is ready for most challenges. Now for my general purpose gaming and day-to-day -day editing and script writing, this thing worked like a champ and it lets me write my videos really quickly. I also appreciate that even though the crystal switches are technically mechanical, it is pretty quiet due to the foam. So if I'm recording a podcast, you can't actually hear my keystrokes if I'm using it in the background. Since this keyboard also comes with a wireless dongle, I tried setting this up on my Windows PC. When I plugged in the dongle, it automatically paired with the keyboard. So I simply switched the keyboard over to Win, W-I-N on the back of it. You can also switch it to Mac. I let it pair on the wireless 2.4G radio and I immediately went back into typing on it. So far, the battery has lasted really well in my testing. For example, today is Saturday and I've been running 
running this off battery since Tuesday in the afternoon around like 1 p.m. So that's gotten me a solid four days so far and it's not showing any signs of the battery dying yet. So we're good. Of the three different keyboards I'm gonna show you today, this one is my favorite. It's the full RGB. This one also has that softer feel to it than the 5108S that I'm gonna show you later, but still plenty of actuation force to really make it feel consistent and feel like I'm actually doing something. I like quite a bit of actuation force whenever I'm using a keyboard. I really like typing on this one, even with my longer nails. And I also have a sound test for you. Also, I did want to mention that each of these comes with a matching cable, though unfortunately the cable is not braided. It is USB-C though, which is nice. All of them also come with this nice little tool, which comes in this cute lavender color and is branded with Akko's name on the front of it. This is specifically for your keycaps, so you can switch off the keycaps at will. And this will help me whenever uh, I want to switch out my keycaps so I don't have to break a nail. Now let's take a look at the Sailor Moon Crystal 5108S, which is priced between between $100 or $120, depending on your choice of switches. This keyboard is another gem in the Sailor Moon lineup, featuring stunning RGB backlighting that can be programmed again with the Akko Wired Manager. The 5108S again is full size. It includes the built-in plate phone to reduce noise pings, giving you a quieter typing experience. This one is also hot swappable as well, so you can easily switch out any of your switches whenever you feel like it. My unit here comes with the Akko CS Sakura switches, which are linear with an operating force of 39 grams plus or minus 5, a total travel of 4.0 to 0.3 millimeters, and a pre-travel of 1.9 plus or minus 0.3 millimeters. Other available switches for this specific keyboard include the Akko CS Jelly Pink, Akko Crystal, the Gatoron Orange, which is lubed, and the Akko V3 Cream Yellow Pro. Now this keyboard features a USB Type-C interface, the Akko Macro version version 1.0, N key rollover, and a disable windlock function. The RGB backlighting on this one, again, is really pretty if you like those lighting vibes, and there is no wireless option on this one, it is just wired. The 5108S is pretty similar to the previous keyboard I showed you in terms of size. It is 440 by 132 by 41 millimeters, and this one weighs approximately 1.2 kilograms. This one is made of durable PBT material, again, and it uses that dye sublimation printing technology. So again, you get those really nice keycaps. The keys give me a lot of tactile response and sound. They are loud, but they are linear. So there's no additional tactile resistance. The lowest height is still pretty angled. So I have no need for the rubber feet to change the height. They feel great. They feel really easy to type on with long nails. I also noticed with this keyboard, as well as the previous one, there's plenty of space in between the keys to not feel claustrophobic or too cluttered. So it feels really good to type on. This is a great all around keyboard, especially if you don't want one with wireless built in, you wanna save a little bit of money. Also have a sound test for this one as well. Now again, with each of these keyboards, they do feature these feet so you can angle them upwards. Again, I do find that with the height of the keys on all three of the keyboards I'm showing you today, I don't really find the feet necessary. I can definitely just use these flat on the surface. Okay, next up, let's check out the Sailor Moon Crystal 3108 V2. It looks like the same exact keyboard. It is designed the same, but it has very, very different specs. Now this keyboard is priced at $90, so it is a little bit cheaper. And this 
one again is bringing that Sailor Moon aesthetic and it also brings this limited edition pink base. Just like the previous two keyboards, this one also includes that PBT die sub OEM profile keycaps. It is wired with a USB type C connection on the back of it. So again, it's very reliable, but this does not include any sort of wireless connection, just like the previous keyboard. Now I wanna talk about the switches on this one. My unit is rocking an older style mechanical switch, which closely resembles the current Akko second gen blue switches that replace them, which are clicky and they do have an operating actuation force of 50 grams, so a little bit stronger of a force, plus or minus five. They have a total travel of 4.0 to five millimeters, pre-travel of 1.9 plus or minus three millimeters, and they have a tactile force of 60 grams plus or minus five grams of force at a tactile position of 1.5 plus or minus 0.3 millimeters. That's a lot of numbers, I'm sorry. <laughs> the blue switches in this one specifically have that tactile resistance that you feel as you press the key before it actually actuates. And some people prefer having that resistance while some people prefer a smoother actuation all the way down. It really depends on your preference, but for review sake, I did choose these blues for that stronger force. You can also opt for the Echo second gen orange, the Echo gen pink second generation, and they also have Cherry MX blues or Cherry MX brown switch collabs if that's more your style. Now again, the 3108 V2 also features N key rollover. It has the Echo macro version 1.0 and a disable win lock function. Although this one does not come with any backlighting, it does support LED mods if you wanna add some custom flair to your keyboard. Just like the previous one, this keyboard also has those adjustable heights. The tilting stand offers three different levels of height adjustment, so you can make the perfect angle for your typing comfort. Plus, just like the 5108, it does have that efficient cable routing with a type C connector and the three-way cable routing to keep your desk looking neat and tidy. This model measures the exact same specs and it weighs the exact same amount as the previous keyboards. So that's 440 by 140 by 40 millimeters, plus or minus one millimeter here or there. And it's 1.2 kilograms. Like the 5108B+, it is built with that durable PBT material die sublimation printing technology on the keycaps, ensuring that that art will not fade easily over time. So in my opinion, after using this one as well for many, many months, the 3108V2 with blue switches has those really, really great clicky keys, that stronger feedback and that force needed than the 5108B+, and a lot more than the 5108S, which is softer. This keyboard is not as comfortable for me to use because it does require more pressure and it does not have that full RGB or the wireless modes. So it's not my favorite of the three because it doesn't have all the features that I need, but here is a sound test. I did say they look exactly the same and they really do, but I did want to mention at the end of this video, just a quick mention for the pink jelly switches. This is not a full review as this keyboard specifically is not available anymore, but this was the 5108 RGB with pink jelly switches in my collection. This one is much lighter. It feels similar to the crystal keys on the white keyboard at an operating force of 45 grams. It's really soft to the touch and fairly quiet as well. So so here's a sound test of this one.
Now, lastly, I wanted to cover Akko's software app. Their software app is definitely not required in order to use these keyboards. They're basically plug and play. You can plug them in and you can start typing immediately. But if you wanna change the color scheme or set up macros or do custom settings, you will want to download the Akko Cloud Driver from their website. It's very easy to use. It automatically detects your keyboard so you can start making changes. I also like how they have this community tab for other folks who wanna upload macros or lighting setups to share. So what are the cons with Akko and their switches? Well, the Akko Sailor Moon Crystal 5108B+, Plus, the first one, the 3108V2, and the 5108S, they're all fantastic keyboards. They have different price points, depending on if you want wireless or RGB, or you just want a specific switch. All of them are fantastic, and they all have their own unique features, but it's really down to the switches that I found that made them differ. Whether you are a gamer, a typist, or a Sailor Moon fan, these keyboards have all those basics that I would need for general use. I like the versatility of the wireless and the backlighting. I like how long the battery lasts, but all three are missing a nice little media dial, like a little potentiometer or additional USB inputs for other peripherals. They are also missing additional physical macro keys, like on the side for custom controls. Sometimes you do find that on gaming keyboards. And I wish that they had braided cables instead of the basic rubber cables. Let me know what you think of these. If you have purchased any of the Echo keyboards, what was your opinion? and how did you like them? Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more tech reviews and updates and make sure to hit the little bell down below so you get notified whenever I have a new video that comes out. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.